Hello friends, I am Nisan Katira and today we are going to learn MCQs of chapter 8 coordinate geometry. Friends, in other videos we had studied many important sums of exercise 8.1, 8.2 and 8.3. Now let's see the MCQs of this chapter. First MCQ is if point A and B are given points then dash is the midpoint of line segment AB. Here we are having two points A and B. As you know that x1 is 1 and y1 is 2. In the same way x2 is 3 and y2 is minus 2. Now this sum is based on the midpoint formula. So let's write down the formula. Coordinates of midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2. Value of x1 is 1 x2 is 3 upon 2 y1 is 2 plus y2 is minus 2 upon 2 1 plus 3 4 upon 2 and plus minus minus so 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 upon 2 2 2 is a 4 so answer is 2 and 0 0 upon 2 is equal to 0 so answer is 2 up 2 and 0 so answer is c now second mcq one of the end points of a circle having center at origin is a then the other end points of the diameter has the coordinates dash now this sum is also based on the midpoint formula but we will do this sum directly first of all Let's draw the figure of a circle. AB is diameter and O is origin. Coordinates of point A are given 3 and minus 2. As you know, coordinates of origin are always 0, 0. And we have to find coordinates of point B. Now, if we start from A, x coordinate, x coordinate which is 3 becomes 0 at origin. So, it is decreasing. From 3, it becomes 0. Now, if we travel from, G, from O to B, then again it will go on decreasing. So, it will become minus 3. From 3, to 0 and from 0 to minus 3. In the same way for y coordinate from minus 2 it becomes 0 at origin. Now again from 0 it goes on increasing from 0 to from minus 2 to 0 and now from 0 to plus 2. So coordinates of point B are minus 3 and plus 2. So, correct answer is option A. Now, third MCQ. The distance of point A from origin is dash. Friends, this is the most important MCQ and the answer is option D. You have to remember this option. Under root x square plus y square. Moving on to the 4th and 5th MCQ, but before that, let's have a look towards these important rules. First rule is x coordinate of a point on y axis is always 0 and y coordinate of a point on x axis is always 0. Please remember these two rules because it will be useful to you for 4th and 5th MCQs. Fourth MCQ is the foot of the perpendicular from point P to y axis is M. 
coordinates of m are dash here m is on y axis so according to this first rule x coordinate of a point on y axis is always 0 so x coordinate of point m will be 0 and as you know x coordinate is prior to the comma and y coordinate is as it is which is 2 so answer is 0 and 2 which is second option fifth mcq the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular from point p to x axis are dash here the point is on x axis so as per second rule y coordinate of a point on x axis is always 0 so here y coordinate will become 0 and y coordinate is later to the comma and x coordinate is as it is 5 so correct option is d 5 and 0 sixth mcq is point a b and c are the vertices of a dash triangle here we have to apply distance formula and first of all we will find distance between a b then b c and then a c and then we will decide of which angle of which triangle these vertices are so here we are having three points a b and c so x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 0 x2 is equal to 3 and y2 is equal to 0 x3 is equal to 3 and y3 is equal to 4 first of all let's find the distance between a b and distance formula is x1 plus x1 minus x2 whole bracket square plus y1 minus y2 whole bracket square x1 is 0 x2 is 3 y1 is 0 and y2 is 0 0 minus 3 minus 3 and 0 minus 0 0 square of minus 3 is equal to plus 9 plus 0 so value of a b square is equal to 9 here we don't have to find the root of a b square then b c square distance between b c so distance formula x2 minus x3 whole bracket square plus y2 minus y3 whole bracket square x2 is 3 x3 is also 3 y2 0 and y3 4 3 minus 3 0 0 minus 4 minus 4 square of minus 4 plus 16 so bc square is equal to 16 and now distance between ac so ac square is equal to x1 and x3 x1 minus x3 whole bracket square plus y1 minus y3 whole bracket square x1 is 0 and x3 is 3 y1 is also 0 and y3 is 4 0 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 4 square of minus 3 plus 9 and square of minus 4 plus 16 so we get ac square is equal to 25 now here square of sum of squares of ab and bc is equal to ac square ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square now as you know that this formula is of pythagoras formula and pythagoras formula is applied only to right angle triangle so these are the vertices of right angle triangle so answer is a right angle let's see mcq number seven friends 
This sum is of the same method which we recently learned in MCQ number 6. Here 1 and 0, 0 and 1 and 1 and 1 are the coordinates of vertices of a triangle. The triangle is dash triangle. Here we have three points, let name them A, B and C. So we have x1 is equal to 1 and y1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 0 and y2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 1 and y3 is equal to 1. First of all, we will find distance between point A and B. So AB square is equal to x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square x1 is 1, x2 is 0, y1 0 and y2 1, 1 minus 0 1 and 0 minus 1 minus 1. So we have ab square is equal to 2. Now distance between point b and c, so bc square is equal to x2 minus x3 square plus y2 minus y3 square. x2 is 0 and x3 is 1. y2 is 1 and y3 is also 1. 0 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 0. Square of minus 1 is equal to plus 1 and square of 0 is equal to 0. So we get value of bc square is equal to 1. Now distance between point A and C, so AC square is equal to x1 minus x3 square plus y1 minus y3 square. x1 is 1 and x3 is 1. y1 is 0 and y3 is 1. 1 minus 1 0 and 0 minus 1 minus 1. Square of minus 1 is equal to plus 1. So AC square is equal to 1. Here BC square and AC square are equal. So we can say that BC is equal to AC. So the triangle is isosceles triangle. If two sides are same of a triangle then it is called an isosceles triangle. So answer is isosceles. Now the last MCQ is point A, B and C are given points dash of the following is true. Friends, this sum is also like uh, MCQ number 6 and 7. Here again we have three points A, B and C. So x1 is equal to 1 and y1 is 2, x2 is 2, y3 is, y2 is 3, x3 is 3 and y3 is 4. Again we have to find distance between these three points. First of all distance between point A and B. So AB square is equal to x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square x1 is 1 and x2 is 2, y1 is 2 and y2 is 3, 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Square of minus 1 is plus 1, here also plus 1, so ab square is equal to 2 and uh, ab is equal to root of 2 under root 2. Now distance between point B and C, so BC square is equal to x2 minus x3 square plus y2 minus y3 square. x2 is 2, x3 is 3, y2 3 and y3 4, 2 minus 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 4 minus 1. Square of minus 1 plus 1, 
here also plus 1 so bc square is equal to 2 and bc is equal to under root 2 now distance between point a and c so ac square is equal to x1 minus x3 square plus y1 minus y3 square x1 is 1 x3 is 3 y1 2 and y3 is 4 1 minus 3 minus 2 and 2 minus 4 minus 2 square of minus 2 4 here also 4 so ac square is equal to 8 we cannot directly find the root of 8 so we have to make parts of 8 which are 4 2 za and root of 4 2 and root of 2 under root 2 so ac is equal to 2 root 2 now here ab plus bc if we make sum of ab and bc ab plus bc is equal to ac root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 2 root 2 so ab plus ac is equal to ac so this is the answer which is option number b ab plus bc is equal to ac so friends our eighth chapter gets completed here and if you think that these videos are really helpful to you then please subscribe share these videos with your friends and relatives who are in 10th standard and i will come with one more important chapter with most important sums till then it's goodbye